All right. Let's get into some Damian Harris. Let's do it. So, birth date, 2 97 just Happy turned, belated. Happy belated. Yeah, just turned 22. So, uh, not super young, but not super old. Right. Solid. He's been at Alabama for four years. Um, yeah, lo- loved his time there. Yeah, about 5'10", 215. 5'11", 214. I don't know. One of those One of those for sure. Yeah. He definitely looks to me and like he he looks and plays bigger than 214, I feel like. Yeah. He definitely looks swole. A lot of different mixed reviews on this guy out there. I've seen him get a first round grade. I've seen him and, and, and people calling him the best back in the class. And, and I've seen him fall the way down to a third round talent. So yeah. it's all over the place on what people feel about this guy. Uh, I think he's a well, pretty pretty th- good kid. Yeah. Um, not a ton of stuff off the field to kind of look at. He w- one bad thing he was benched as the starter uh, versus Tennessee. I think that was in 2017 for qu- quote internal reasons. Mm-hmm. Only received three carries in that game. Kept but that I, one in house. Right. He came back the next week. Got like 19 carries. Had some good yardage. So mm-hmm. they they uh, remedied whatever that was. He also declined to play in the in the. In the Senior Bowl, people got mad at him for that, but like whatever, he, yeah, he's not going to do anything. He's had three years stock on there. the biggest spotlight in national college football to show you what he can do. He doesn't need to go to the Senior Bowl, right? I watched some uh, post game interviews. He seems like a good kid. Um, you know, seems pretty humble. Gives the team a lot of credit. He's a good interview. Uh, you can tell he cares about his teammates. I watched the after the national championship, and he was just like basically crying the whole time and. And they were asking him about, you know, his emotions. And he was like, it's not necessarily that we lost, although, you know, I hate to go out like this, but it's it's more I'm not going to get to play anymore at Alabama. I'm not right. going to get to be with my be teammates with my guys. anymore. And he, he, you get the sense that he cares a lot about his teammates. So that's all good good stuff. Um, as we mentioned, Alabama played in a timeshare. That's basically one of the knocks is that, you know, he never had a ton of attempts and not, never got like the bulk of the carries he, yeah. he seemed to seed work two different backs whether that be Bo Scarborough or uh Josh Jacobs right or but, Jalen Hurts I mean right in 16 Jalen Hurts led the team in rushing attempts with 191 um so Jacob or not Jacobs Harris in his career had 146 uh his sophomore year uh 135 in 2017 and 150 the most He's had at Alabama uh, by four totes, uh, 150 this season. Uh, so it was interesting that, you know, they kind of this uh, this season, obviously, they transformed from the Alabama that you all kind of knew and loved to, you know, a flourishing passing offense. Right. Of ridiculousness. So back to 16 Hertz leads the team with rushing 191 head and shoulders above anybody else uh, attempts wise. He runs for 954 yards, five touchdowns, and and 13 TDs. So Harris only has two touchdowns in the entire 16 season, yeah, uh, which is interesting. But Bo Scarborough is still there. He had 11, um, and eventually the pendulum swings in 17, um, and Harris gets the 11 touchdowns. Scarborough he also had down two to receiving eight. touchdowns in, he did. in 16. So You're right. His only two of his career. Um. So, but but before this year, where he had the 22 receptions, he had 14 in 16 and 12 and 17. So not a ton. So nice to see. That obviously, seventeen or sorry, that was Bo Scarborough with seventeen. He had twelve in in seventeen. Um, nice to see him get a little bit more work. I think he's pretty fluid in the pass game. Uh, it's not like he's in the backfield or lining up in the slot doing anything crazy, running wild routes all over the go routes and all this stuff. He but out of the backfield, he's he's a very 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 capable uh, handsy catcher. Got good awareness of what's going on around him when he's out in the flats or running a little uh, middle screen or, you know, things like that. Right. He shows some nuances, sets up the screen well. Um, I, there's uh, plenty of catches that you can see, plenty of good catches he's put down on tape. He can make a catch behind him or outside of his frame. I didn't see any drops that I can recall out of all the tape that you can watch, which is a I, ton of tape. I don't think i can either the, i think he had 26 targets so i don't know how many of those were drops or yeah. just off target targets yeah i mean i think i'd call him underrated in the passing i game. would say so too i would think he's just a, in my opinion just a very good i think he's a well-versed player right pass Mitch, protection's pretty decent sure 
pretty solid. I, the, you can see him. I didn't have any bad things mo- really to say about him in the past. Uh, right. Thing, so that's always good. I could find. I, I saw him got blown up by Roquan Smith, but what are you going right. to do? Who Roquan was a up? top linebacker. I think he's a good lead country. blocker on the many design QB runs they had there. Mm-hmm. They asked their backs to be blockers yeah. a lot of times. Both him and Jacobs did a good job of that. Right. Um, and I one thing I didn't see was when he was asked to pass protect, I didn't see him really do much breaking off of that to become an outlet. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas you do see Jacobs kind of kind of have that quality. That's something I'm always looking for. But, I mean, you know, I can't knock him too much for it. Uh, so we, we could take it to the to the rushing ability here. I think it's pretty good. To me, he's just a, a big ball of momentum. And he seems to, to have a, a combination of of hesitation and power yeah. and some, some acceleration and burst that, that yep. you can see. Some people knock the burst. I think he got better as the, the years went on in Alabama. He changed his diet up and got a little quicker and a little faster. There are some examples of him not having super great long speed, but then there's other examples of him running, you know, past SEC defenses. Right. The um, long speed I think is is very subtle and 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 it just creeps up on you. I feel I feel like he's got a decent long speed. Yes, you know, sure. Uh, Dory Jackson catches him from behind, but I mean Yeah, Dory Jackson's really fast. Right. He had a bunch of long runs, 46 yards, 61 yards, 75 yards, just multiple big explosive long runs and then we said it about other backs you still have to tackle him when you catch him right and there's evidence there's there's evidence on tape of him just not going yeah. down yeah i would he's i would i would say he's got pretty the power's pretty good i, I don't i wouldn't pin him as like a power back necessarily in 2017 he led all running backs with 5.3 yards after contact excellent that makes him the best ever ever so I, I think he definitely has enough power to run through any arm tackles that are coming his way, and I think he does finish runs pretty well. I wouldn't peg him as a power back. I think I, mean, I don't know. I, I kind of would. I mean, uh, I, I think he's I think he's better. He's got more, he's got more versatility than just saying this guy's a power back. In my opinion, I think he's yeah, but I mean, it's not just, like he's just we just did a thirty taking, minute video and half the plays are him finishing with power. Yeah, well, I mean that's that's a good. He should you should be finishing your runs. That's how it should be going down. That's what but power backs do. I'm, no, I mean power backs no. are just lining it up and slamming it, and and just well, running so running right into traffic, right yeah. into holes. He decides he's to get doing, a little hesitation, right. a little he's, hip he's move, he's more a little, than that. Little head that's, shake. That's what I'm saying. I'm not okay. He's more I, than I that. I don't think he's All a straight right. up power back. I don't think power is the best part of his game either. I think he's got other good subtle abilities that. Yeah. Uh, I think the vision's pretty good. The you vision's good for see sure. Him, see him press the hole. You see him getting linebackers off balance. You see him shake safeties in the second level. Yeah. He's just got basically the complete package. You know, he, he has yeah. the patience to let runs develop and the vision to see the hole when it opens up and the and the power and acceleration to hit it hard and finish and get more. He's always getting more yeah. yards. He's always falling forward. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I said, I wouldn't put him in the box of just to be in a power back. I think he's got pretty decent hips. Uh, I think the best plays are the ones where he is kind of a, a little bit of a one cut and go whether it's a man or a zone uh kind of scheme and he shows plenty of versatility throughout his uh plays and all of his youtube videos that are cut up for you to watch uh where he can operate in man and follow in a uh, a pulling guard or a tight end uh and he can run it in zone he can stretch it out he can run it inside or outside in those zone plays uh, so i i think I think there's a lot of good versatility with this player. And again, I just keep circling back to, I think there's, there's a lot of good all around ability to his game. He can do a little bit of everything for you. Um, so that's, that's gotta be, you know, pretty well taken into account when you're grading out this guy. Yeah. And then lastly, the injuries, not, not a ton to speak of. Didn't really miss hardly any time while at at Alabama, picked up some minor dings, had a, a sprained foot in March of 17, uh, suffered a leg injury in uh, October. He he had against uh, Arkansas. Had a wrap on his knee during practice, but didn't miss a game. Had some undisclosed cramps, is what they called it, versus Louisville, um, and was forced from the Citadel game with a minor concussion. Only missed a couple practices before yeah. getting back on the field. So pretty durable. Although he was in the timeshare, uh, I think he handled the timeshare well. Yeah, and I mean that's some people don't love that he wasn't able to just be the the man all the time and he was basically the man this year he got the most run out of all those guys i believe 
Um, but there's always been a good rotation of running backs over there at Alabama, and that's what they do. They got a bunch of really good players, and they let them they let them all touch the field at different times. They're wearing people down, trying to keep their guys Fresh. healthy. Yeah, uh, and it works for them. It it works. National championship after national championship until this year. Uh, until this year, uh, I will like. My biggest note on him is when he does have that little hesitation move behind the line of scrimmage, he used it very effectively. I, I, you you kind of hit on it at one point. He'll kind of come to a complete stop on some of these and allow his lanes, whether it be a cutback lane or anything like that, to open up, and he's he's pretty good at hitting it. Um, and then sometimes it's not quite – it's a little bit more subtle, but there are plenty of times where he'll almost come to a complete stop in the backfield – around a hole and then accelerate through and and uh and finish so i think uh again i'm not gonna say he's not a, not a powerful player but i i'm, I'm not gonna just say i'm not just giving him the power i think he's got more okay more to well, his game i, than I thought you were trying to knock him for a lack of power you're just saying that it's more than that yeah i don't yeah i'm not looking at his game of just being like oh this guy just lines up and grinds it and that's all he does no but he can and he does it well when he does it and yeah I, but i don't want runs. him to i don't think he needs to i think he can do the other things and i'm I'm okay with that right but i mean to be a three down back you're gonna have to line up yeah in there and bang sure him, i'm right? not saying that he he isn't a three down back yeah i just i just don't want him to be three yards and he's not a three yards in cloud of dust sure kind of back, he is. in my opinion he's like five yards in a cloud of dust right well there's no yeah <laughs> all right well that should uh do it for our damian harris breakdown we're gonna uh take a break here we'll come back with some josh jacobs and if uh if you're on patreon go hit up that uh the video we we, we sh did our first video put one out for damian harris might have been a little too long give us a break uh it's only 30 minutes though so not, not the worst but we're showing you a bunch of plays Kind of showing you our thought process and, and giving you some examples and some evidence. Facts don't lie. Plays don't lie. So yeah. uh, go check that out. That's, uh, that was a good time. So we'll, uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with more Married to the Game.